Good day, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another edition of Update News. Now, today's hot topics are console freeze issues are finally fixed of you on PlayStation and Xbox, and you've been having the dreaded freeze issue where either the game doesn't load or it freezes entirely, then this has now been fixed. Also, mega bug fixes are inbound there is a gigantic list of new fixes to do with worlds part one that we're going to speak about today as well but before we do get into that ladies and gentlemen as always please just make sure that you double check your subscriptions and if you need to resubscribe please do resubscribe and don't forget as well if you watch me for a while you like what i do then why not consider hitting that subscribe button you definitely will not regret it anyway ladies and gentlemen let's get right on into today's video so over the last 24 hours, Mr. Murray posted this over on his Twitters. That is right, a gigantic patch list for Worlds Part 1 that fixes a lot of immediate problems that was pretty much plaguing the Norman Sky community, especially on consoles. Now, there is a lot of console fixes in this, there's a lot of PC fixes, and a lot of mid fixes as well that do sort out a lot of underlying issues so let's get into today's list and trust me it is quite extensive with what they've done here so first up we have applied some minor polish to the companion register ui to make it more clear there are more than six available slots fixed an issue that caused the wrong control glyph to be suggested when reporting bases fixed an issue that made it difficult to rotate the model of the starship or backpack on the inventory page now that was a, a a may issue, uh, but yeah, fine, whatever. Improve the summoning position of the pirate dreadnought freighter to make it easier to fly into. Fix a number of issues that cause inapplicable markings options to appear when customizing some player appearance settings. Now that is one that I am currently experiencing myself, but apparently that is fixed, so fantastic. Fixed a rare issue that could cause walls to be missing from some planetary buildings in GEC dominated systems. Why is it always the GECs? Fixed an issue that could label solar class starships as fighters in the Starship Fabricator. Fixed an issue that could cause two brood mothers to appear in the same position when killing juicy grubs. Fixed a number of minor text issues. Fixed an issue that could result in a Minotaur falling through the surface of a planet when loading a save. Fixed an issue that prevented the Minotaur's stun cannon from working correctly. Fixed an issue that caused hostile security drones on derelict freighters to become stuck in the ceiling. Fixed an issue that could make it difficult to summon starships to the exact correct position on the water. Fix a rare issue that could prevent progress on the tutorial by preventing warp to the target system. Fix an issue that could result in incorrect counts on the Wondrous Catalog. Fix an issue that could leave lingering echoes of all ships in the quick menu after salvaging a ship. That was a wonderful glitch, but that's been patched now. Fix an issue that caused existing freighter bases to fail to properly snap together, causing corridors and doors to turn into walls. Fix a rare issue that could block the handing of Nexus missions, fixed an issue where the multi-tool was visible in photo mode when the player was using the first person camera, improved a number of graphic settings, descriptions in the options menu, fixed a number of UI rendering issues, fixed an issue that could cause some settlements to fail to appear during building generation. Fixed an issue with firing the whole milestone in the liquid expedition. Fixed an issue with the brood in the water milestone in the liquidator's expedition. Fixed a number of balance issues in the liquidator's expedition. So if he was having problems with the liquidator expedition, then hopefully these issues are now fixed for you. So there's quite a few the same for this next one. So fix the number of visual issues and then I'll just list off what it says. So liquidator mech. Scorch world props, frozen world props, radioactive world props, plant animal hybrid creatures, barren world props. So that's fixed the number of visual issues. So with all of those and these ones next are the same thing, but that could occur. So they could occur when killing walker buildings, when killing jellyfish and shooting creatures. So a lot of visual issues there, but hopefully if you was having any of those problems, they have now been patched and fixed for your very good selves. So improve the visual effects for damaged starships, improve the visual effects when shooting brood mothers, fix a number of visual issues with refractions in the starship cockpit, fixed a number of 
load or LOD ing issues with floating islands. So basically, whenever like you jump from like the new floating islands from one to the other, depending on if they're big or small, you might actually just go through them. So chances are now that should be fixed and you can actually like jump on the smaller or bigger islands that are floating. That's I think that's what that means. But again, well, I'll need to go in the game and test that. Uh, fixed a number of animated issues with walking buildings, fixed a number of animation issues with hostile bugs, improves the ambient visual effects on extreme firestorm worlds, fixed a number of visual issues with the Minotaur cockpit, fixed a number of general animation issues that caused over exaggerated bending. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I know what they're talking about, but they fixed uh, what I call the stank leg <laughs> glitch where you went too close to a corner and then the, the whole thing just started to like jig and yeah, I'll uh, I'll digress from that. But yeah, it, it was fun, but basically that's been fixed. I uh, fixed an issue that caused foliage rendering to become corrupted. Um, fix a number of visual issues with water rendering and fix a number of visual issues with wind. Wind is invisible. I don't know how they fix that, but apparently they fixed invisibleness now. Fix the number of audio issues with the Minotaur's flamethrower, improve the ambient audio on floating islands, fix the number of issues related to the DLSS 3 and frame gen options. So basically that one is a very big one because I noticed with DLSS turned on, the water was absolutely buggy as anything. So glad to see that that has finally been fixed added a VR optimization for AMD graphics cards. So again, if you're having VR issues on AMD, that is now fixed. Fixed a crash that could occur when reloading saves. Uh, fix a crash related to loading Exocraft. Fix a crash related to texture rendering, loading discoveries, and planetary rendering as well. So they're all fixed. Uh, fixed a VR specific crash as well improved the quality of water rendering on consoles introduced a number of xbox specific performance optimization so if you was getting a lot of problems on xbox that has now been fixed fix a switch only issue that could make it difficult to interact with the base scientist terminal added a number of memory optimizations to switch improved the quality of particle rendering in psvr2 now there we go ladies and gentlemen that is a huge huge list of problems that have been fixed and a lot of these problems was mainly directed towards console and obviously pc players as well so if you were experiencing any of those issues that have been labeled there then chances are they have been fixed but looking at a lot of the stuff that i don't say for example it's specific to playstation or specific to xbox or whatever console or platform you are using but you was having a problem then looking at that extensive list chances are it is now fixed but go onto your consoles or go onto your your pc or mac or switch or whatever it is you was on and try and get to to the same point that you was when you was having those issues and see if now it works because chances are it should but if not report to the zendesk because you can see they are completely hot on fixing these issues so if you are still having issues report to zendesk anyway ladies and gentlemen that is everything from me here today let me know if the problem that you was having is fixed in the comment section down below you know what to do but as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now